Hey YouTube, it's Demetri, and today we're gonna celebrate 50,000 subscribers, which is truly amazing here of this community that I have built over the years. And on that note, I wanna make this crystal clear to everybody. This is a celebration of the quant community that has been built. Uh, this is the community that all of you are a part of, you participate in, you guys are interactive in. Um, the YouTube channel itself started uh, in 2015, uh, we've got some awesome merch I've made over the years. I still wear these shirts to work. Uh, but yeah, so 2015 through today, nine years, 50,000 subscribers is going to be cleared here. This is truly amazing. Um, we are hitting almost 4 million views as well. Um, to put this in perspective for many of you, um, most football stadiums in the United States for college are going to be 50,000 or less. So that's like filling an entire stadium, which I just find absolutely crazy here. Um, but more importantly, let's talk about really what the channel has done, right? No one really cares that it's 50,000 subscribers besides really myself and a few of you. Uh, no one cares how many views it gets. Um, but the impact the channel has had has been extraordinary. Uh, there are many times I just don't talk about these things. I don't share these things. I probably can't share a lot of it. Um, but I wanted to get into depth a little bit on what this channel was intended to do, what it is doing and kind of the success and how you guys are kind of a part of this. You're moving the industry. You are changing the quant industry um, from the inside out here. So the original purpose of this channel was to help students out, but more specifically, it was supposed to be a channel to change the industry for the better. That has been the goal the entire time here. Um, I was disgruntled at my first job love the company I worked for, but disgruntled after grad school with the graduate school resources that were available to us, um, the way that we were treated often from the universities. We just didn't have the support. We didn't have the resources. Um, we weren't building a good quantitative finance community here. Now, the channel itself, looking at this from the different aspects, the vast majority of people that watch this channel, surprise, are not students. It's the industry that's watching. It's the universities that are educating and training that are watching. Um, I think this blows a lot of people's mind. Everyone goes, oh, Dimitri's got this really fun and cute quant finance channel for students. Um, no, this channel is actually not intended for students. And what a lot of people don't realize, and I probably should correct people, but I don't, is there's a lot of, you know, portfolio managers, executives, heads of quantitative departments. I mean, you guys watch when I bring on guests on the channel. A lot of those guests that you see that I bring on here they're not like a royal person I pull off of some pedestal and put on the channel. They're an active member that's participating in the channel, watching the channel. Um, some of them even watch weekly, which blows my mind. Heads of departments, heads of corporations, um, again, run at some of these top hedge funds, which many of you probably also don't realize. Um, I've gotten quite a few letters over the years um, from a lot of top firms like Point72, um, again, Citadel, um, all the big names you can probably think of. There's somebody there that watches my videos. Um, most of these individuals that watch the channel as well, the advice they're getting is how to interview, how to situate themselves for these jobs. Um, again, some of them are quant, some are quant devs, some are portfolio managers, some are data engineers. Uh, the list is really extraordinary on the people that it's actually impacted and it helps because I don't actually go out of my way and say like, oh, I'm gonna find you know this sort of person, I'm going to help them. Um, but it has helped a lot of people on the career side of this. To give you the demographics here, which I'm gonna put a snapshot here on the screen, um, 13 to 17 year olds is 0.1%. It, to be honest with you guys, it just shocks me that people watch me in high school. Um, at the last uh, Illinois Tech Princeton conference I was at, somebody came up to me and said, hey, I've been watching you since high school. I'm in college now. Um, it it just, it, it's a lot for me. I'm just really impressed that you guys are out there in high school knowing what you want to do. I had no idea. Um, again, 38.7% are going to be 18 to 24. That's going to be undergrads. Um, again, undergrads are going to be through 22. Grad school is going to be, you know, between up to 24-ish. So that's kind of, you know, 38.7% is going to be grad school um, and undergrads. And then 42.9%, which is the largest portion, is 25 to 34. So those are people who have been following me over the years, probably around my age here. Um, 35 to 44 is 11.8%, 45 to 54 is 5%, 55 to 64 is 1%. So 1%, you think about, you know, all these views, 4 million views, 1%, it's still a pretty large number here. And yes, half a percent at 65 plus. So on the student side, 
on the entertainment side of this, right? Um, the one feedback I continually get from everybody, which has been really amazing, is Dimitri, you just get us. You talk about the things that nobody else wants to talk about. You talk about dealing with difficult people. You talk about dealing with different difficult departments, people that are rude. Um, you don't, you know, sugarcoat things. You just tell us how it is. Um, that's why we watch the channel. We want someone to relate with. One of the things that has been brought up many times too is the struggle between academia and the industry. Uh, talking about wanting to go to one or the other, and it's just this big, you know, throw up of like what you should really be doing. Um, and people have said, Dimitri, I get it. Um, I've had people on the academic side. So shout out to those that have written letters here in response to this 50,000 subscriber and said, hey, I'm in academia. Uh, and you were right. The conferences are amazing, right? Those are the best and the brightest students and practitioners and people that are involved. But academia is not that, you know, luster that you're thinking of, right? Because you still got to train and teach the other 90% of students who don't want to be at class. Uh, and you still have to deal with the tenure track and everything else. Um, and it's just great to build this community around and have a lot of the impacts that we are and being able to relate to people across the field. Um, I try not to sugarcoat things. There is part of me um, that wants to break free that you guys actually don't see on the channel here. Um, I want to be like wild and just, you know, go off the handle a lot of the times but I have to rein it back somewhat just because I am dancing this line of an actual job and profession that I'm actually doing. Um, and then also the YouTube channel of trying to express these things without offending people, um, especially when you work with people and then you complain about them, right? Um, it doesn't look good. So again, I have to layer these things. I often draw on experiences from years prior, um, but many of you have expressed similar frustrations and struggles and challenges. And I'm very excited that I can help you guys through a lot of these issues because I myself recently was like struggling with building team culture. And I went on to YouTube and I searched building teams culture for quants. And one of my old videos comes up and I watch and listen to myself. And it was great just to get my own perspective um, from years ago to see how I thought about things, how I structured things. Now, that being said, we are changing the academic landscape as a channel as well. So what many of you also don't realize, as I talk about programs and everything, a lot of the programs are watching, right? They know who I am. Um, I don't know who most of them are. Um, I'm starting to get more and more ingrained into the academic system of learning who the programs are, who the directors are, who the career services are, what people are doing. Um, and we are pushing the industry to change, the academic industry here in itself. Um, we have seen schools actually change what they're doing because of my commentary. So what you guys also don't see is behind closed doors, programs message me and actually work with them a little bit. Um, I will tell them like point blank, your program's not great because of these reasons. Like these are things you need to fix. These are things that need to get improved. I don't threaten them. I don't, you know, like, oh, if you don't do something, like, that's not how this channel has been. Uh, it's just like a nice nudge of like, if you want some consultation, I'll give you some advice. I'll try to be as open as possible with you. Um, some programs are on such high pedestals, they can't get off their, you know, ivory towers to realize their programs are awful. Um, and that's fine. But we are changing that. And part of that is going to be on the academic side, the institution side of me going and talking to these programs. Um, we are also moving the applications as a channel. So students go and they say, hey, I found these programs. I applied to these programs because you told me to apply to these programs. And more specifically, they get into details. I said, no, no, no don't, don't apply just because I told you to. Um, they say, no, 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 Dimitri, the information on the programs, the insight, the depth, the courses, the textbooks. Um, and then most of these students email me and say, Dimitri, I got accepted the three programs. I'm leaning towards these two. Which one should I choose? And I help students make that decision. The channel is driving application rates. Um, so it's determining who's going to get more applications. As I kind of look through QuantNet's um, data as well, because I don't really track a lot of this, but we're seeing a lot of the programs that I would deem as not very good are getting less applications. Um, programs that have been changing, programs I've been talking about, programs I'm pushing, they're getting more applications. That is a good sign. That means those programs are going to be around for a long time because they're able to select through the best students. They're not desperate. Um, one of the programs recently closed down. Um, I won't say who. They closed their, they're going to be closing their doors. They're not going to be having a program next year. Um, again, they didn't have enough applications. And what shocks me is some programs have like 10 or less applications right? 10 or less students are applying. Um, and then on top of that, we are pushing and I'm complaining and I'm telling them, you have awful career services. 
Go make better career services. Hire someone to do it. And programs are doing it. Um, we are having programs I've complained that your students are not well-rounded. They do not have good communication skills. They're not asking good questions. And I go back a year later and magically all the students have questions. Um, they're adding in, you know, corporate and business training and interview skills. Um, they're starting to get um, better programs. That's what we want. We want better academic programs here, right? My goal is not to pick and choose which programs, you know, are good and bad and all that nonsense, which is why I don't actually numerically rank them. Um, but we are pushing the programs to change, to make better programs that result in better people in the industry, right? I don't care what happens to academia. Um, I don't care what happens to students in general, right? I want to build a good quality community on the professional side of that. And of course, to do that, you need to build good academic relationships and good programs. You need to get good quality students into the pipeline, right? The goal is not to help everybody. The goal is to build the best possible quant community. And with that comes making changes and hopefully not catering to people that are just doing flashy marketing hand wavy things. And there are many programs academically that do that. And I've actually actually blacklisted some, which I will never say who, um, but there are some programs that are blacklisted for doing sketchy things that I do not think are good for the industry. I do not think are good for you as a student. And I definitely do not think they're good for academic um, institutions and the educational program as well. Now, that being said, moving on, um, we are changing also the hiring practices. We are changing the industry as a whole, which is very hard to gauge and see. But I'm having people reach out that are telling me, Dimitri, you are spot on in the interview process. That is how we are interviewing. Um, you are you know, spot on on the education, on the program recommendations. So now companies are saying, hey, uh, these sorts of master's programs that are getting top ranks from Dimitri, they're starting to generate better quality students. And we're able to pick and choose and select these sort of students out of that as well. So we're seeing this full spectrum here. And it's very hard for me because I don't actually get to see every single interaction here. Um, but I do get some great feedback when I asked for it. Um, the Discord channel as well is doing good. It's not amazing. It's doing good though. It's getting up. It's getting going. Um, there was one success story right off the bat, which you know I just thought was awesome. Two individuals, completely different parts of the country. Um, one looking for an investor or like a partner, you know, helping them out in this business idea and they're getting together. Two individuals find each other, again, not in quant hubs um, in the U.S., coming together and being able to work on this project moving forward here, right? We just opened the Discord channel. Ah, I'm so excited. I'm glad this is like bringing people together. And one of them mentioned too, they are in like this small, small city um, for the quant space, at least. There's really no quants there and they feel so isolated. And now it's like they're being able to connect a little bit more with other people on the Discord channel. So I'm hoping we can keep this going. Let's, you know, make things better here. And then more importantly, we have the Dallas Quant Conference that we did, the DFW Quant Conference, quaint quant conference here that Agora Data sponsored. So a big shout out and thank you to Agora Data, uh, the company that I work for. Um, they have been amazing in supporting and pushing the conference last year, which I thought was a stellar success given, you know, <laughs> we've never done one before. And I didn't know many quants in the area. We had students, practitioners. Um, we're really starting to get that momentum and to bring uh, the community here in Dallas together. There is still a huge portion of it I know that's out there that's not participating yet. I'd like to bring more of you guys in. Uh, let's share ideas. Um, let's you know network. Let's bring job opportunities together. Let's work with the academic institutions here in Dallas. I do wish Dallas would spend more time. Um, dear academic community in Dallas, please, please make your quant programs much, much better. They are not very good right now. Um, I have been trying to do that as well and consult and do things behind the scenes. There are programs I didn't even know existed that I just found out about recently in Dallas. So anyways, it's been extraordinary. The impact though, I'm hoping you guys can see is really huge. It's gone from the students. It's gone from the educational system. It's going into the industry now, right? We're seeing the momentum really pick up, especially recently. We've seen a lot of traction here on the channel. Um, a lot of you guys don't get to see this, but programs are now like reaching out to me, academic institutions, um, recruiters. A lot of people are saying, hey, like what's going on? How can we get involved? How can we help? Um, I would love to really get this to that 100,000 mark not necessarily for the numbers sake. And yes, I would absolutely love to have like a little panel back here or I don't know, somewhere behind me with the little YouTube plaque, it'd be great. Um, but realistically, it'd be great to get that sort of traction because we could start to do bigger and better things here. Um, we will continue on with the channel. 
as regular, right? Educational videos, career videos. Um, I would like to spend more time on the channel. Unfortunately, in my current situation with work and family and everything, it has not been possible to really lean into this and make this um, something just completely different or new, but we will keep bringing in top rated guests on the podcast. We will continue to make great videos, educational career wise as well. If you guys want to put some ideas in the comments below, that is awesome. I will share a bunch of photos here throughout this video as well on, you know, all the people I get to meet. It is a lot of fun to go to these conferences, to talk to universities. Um, I'll put a list here probably at the end of this as well, some stats or maybe at the beginning. Um, you can see all the different schools and universities I've talked to, I've presented at, conferences I've been to. I have literally stopped tracking them just because the amount of requests has been so high. We had an invite to fly out to, I think it was... Um, Dubai to go do a presentation this year. I turned that down. I don't have the time. I don't have the bandwidth. Um, but we are doing amazing things, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to everybody who is a part of this channel, especially those that are subscribers, especially those of you that share the content as well. Many of you don't realize this. You go to a conference. Um, you're really excited. You get a selfie and you disappear. If you share that on LinkedIn, you're going to get a bunch of views and traction because my if you tag my name in it, employers are going to see you, companies are going to see you. So if you're looking for a job, an internship, it's a great thing to do. It also helps out the channel. It helps out my, you know, whole business thing here with YouTube and the Discord and everything. Um, it helps out the employer work for where our data, right? It's really a big benefit to see the interactions, the volunteer work, um, the students, the universities, the people, the corporations, the business, like everything's really starting to come together. We're really starting to see a lot of momentum on this and I really cannot thank you guys enough. So anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thank you for the support here on the last nine, almost 10 years that we're closing in on here. Um, 50,000 subscribers is amazing. 4 million views blows my mind. Thank you to everybody.